Aloha, my name is Christina and welcome to my rehab series. Today we'll be focusing on shoulders. So a lot of the time, most people have shoulder injuries, maybe because they're hunching forward a little bit, type, typing or whatever at work. So it starts around your spine forward, but it also brings the shoulders forward. So which causes a lot of like neck issues and kind of shoulder issues. So today we'll be focusing on strengthening all the muscles in the back of the shoulder to help kind of like pull the shoulders back and then maybe start to lift the chest. This is also really good for all my surfers. Um, if you have a TheraBend, awesome. This is what we're gonna use for today. If yours is long enough, you're gonna tie uh, like little circles on both ends. If yours is really short and you're only gonna be able to do one arm at a time, that's totally fine. You want to find something that's maybe like chest or like waist level. Uh, so I'm gonna loop it around the handle of my door to my lanai. Uh, you can use like a railing, a banister. Just be careful if you do like wrap it around a door handle that, that make sure the door is like closed and fully locked. Okay, so before we get into that, if you've watched any of my other rehab videos, we talk about neutral pelvis. It's kind of natural curves of your spine. You wanna make sure that your pelvis isn't, you know, super tucked under or super arched. I think about the same thing when it comes to the shoulders. So, or this top specifically for this video. So we're gonna reach the arms forward and think about from your shoulder blades, I'm gonna draw them together. I don't love the word pinch, but we're gonna use it for now. Pinch the shoulder blades together and then we're gonna reach them apart. Pinch them together and then reach them apart. So I'm not lifting the shoulders up and not using the neck muscles. I'm thinking about like mid back to kind of squeeze them together and then reach them forward. So from the side, it looks like this. Shoulder blades together and then apart. So I'm not necessarily bending my elbows. I'm more drawing the shoulder blades together on my back and then around. So what usually happens is your back starts to move. You wanna keep your back really still and just move your shoulder blades. Sometimes this is kind of easy up against a wall, easier up against a wall where your hands are stationary. I want you to just feel what that feels like. So I think about finding the extreme. So really together and really apart. And I think about that kind of halfway position between those two. So they're not pinching together, but they're not rounding forward. They're just kind of in a happy medium. So that's protraction, retraction of your shoulder blades. So let's talk about your shoulders kind of traveling up and down. So I'm gonna reach the arms up to the ceiling. I'm gonna think shoulder blades up to the ceiling and shoulder blades on. It's also, all, also called shoulder shrugs. Shoulders up and shoulders down. So I'm not trying to use my neck. I'm trying to actually use my lats to help pull the shoulder blades down. Shoulders up, shoulders down, shoulders up. Shoulders down, maybe one more. Shoulders up, shoulders down. So again, you kind of want to find like a happy medium between those two. Sometimes as we think that, oh, I want my shoulders down the back, we end up just kind of like really pulling them down and then it changes like the shape of your spine. So think about maybe drawing them. So relax, <laughs> relax. slightly together and slightly down. So it's like a little happy medium between the extremes of your shoulder joint to your shoulder girdle. So you want to keep that pretty stable the entire time. All right, come back over to your TheraBend, hiding underneath here. I'm going to grab, I like to grab the little circles since they are there. Make sure that it's even and I'm going to squeeze the elbows in. It's really important to keep your elbows drawing into the sides. Try not to swing your elbows out. The closer you are to the anchor, the lighter it gets. The further away you are, the heavier it is. So standing up tall, feet are parallel, scoop your abs in, bring the shoulder blades slightly together, slightly down, your lats are engaged, and you're gonna swing the forearms open and close. Two, so we're working an external rotation of your humerus, which is your upper arm, four. So instead of moving the wrists, five. You're really swinging your forearms open, six. A little door frame, seven. Door frame, eight, door, I'm not sure, nine, and 10, good. So from here, I'm gonna feed the arms through, right in sort of the crease of your elbow. So your elbows are just below the shoulders. You're gonna squeeze slightly, bring the shoulder blades together and down, and then you're gonna swing the forearms open, or the upper arms open and close. Nine and eight. So work in your shoulder stability, seven. So I'm working my rhomboids, six, which is kind of between the shoulder blades, five. 
attaching your shoulder blades towards your spine. Four. Three arms are moving at the same time in the same amount. And a one. Good. You're going to take the arms out. From here, I'm going to take a healthy step back. Okay, palms are facing down. Everything that we just worked, so the back of the shoulder, between the shoulder blades, I'm going to use that for my row. So elbows wide and back. And two. And three. So I'm at more of an angle four. So you can see more of what's happening with my back. Five versus just a side view. Six. And seven. And eight. Two more. And nine. And ten. Good. So still working on our shoulder stability. You're holding the... Uh, almost the, the handles, the TheraBand again. I'm going to take a baby step forward. This one gets pretty tough. So arms are straight. Think about punching the knuckles down and back and down and forth. Two. So in on the Pilates reform, it's called chest expansion. Three and four. And then we add this little fancy head look choreography, but we're not using that today. Six. We're just really focusing on using the back of the shoulder Eight. and incorporating your triceps to swing the arms back and forth. Good. We're going to add your triceps. So elbows in. Bend the knees and lean forward just a tiny bit. Really squeeze the elbows in. Make sure you're not rounding your spine. And then straighten the arms. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. And six. Nice. Five. Four. Three. And two. And a one. And then stand all the way up and relax. Good. Take a little moment. You can drop your TheraBand. Check out how your shoulders are feeling. Just a really quick little rehab series for your shoulders for today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christina, and I hope to see you next time. Aloha.